<sighs> it's kind of cool. Today I've got the Ortor Laser Master 3 here checking out, and this is fun for me because my first ever laser video was on the Ortor uh, Laser Master, like version one, I reckon. Uh, and they have come so far since then. This thing is way easier to set up. It's got more power. I wanna say that was a five watt and it was like 2020 aluminum extrusion, kind of the DIY stuff you can just put anything together. Whereas this thing was like, I don't know, 10 little screws or something, basically six pieces I wanna say, front, back, sides, gantry, Everything's ready to plug and play. It didn't take me any time at all to set this up. And it's got more juice. It's got a lot of cool features. The air assist is built right into the laser head. So you just plug that in. It's an option. This is an extra accessory you gotta get to get that. Then you have air assist, which helps a lot with cutting. Uh, when you're engraving, the air assist doesn't make a big difference. Well, it does help blow the smoke away, but that's far more important when you're cutting and trying to penetrate to get that smoke clear so that way the laser can actually get down to each layer of the cut and bring the heat and work through the material. Um, it's got a few other little features I like. Uh, it's Wi-Fi, it's got a cool app, and it has this built-in little focus gauge because that was my one of my big pet peeves on diode lasers before was having to turn the tiny little focus ring and eyeball and see, oh, is the dot the smallest it is? Is it good, is it not? But now we just got a little flip down arm, flip that thing down, tighten the uh, little plate so it's locked in place, swing it up out of the way and you're in the right place, it's too easy. So anyway, uh, I've got some eighth inch birch plywood. We're going to run a few little, quick little tests, see how it goes, and um, maybe make something. Let's check it out. All right, ran a fill test and a cut test on my material, which is, I think it was labeled as quarter inch birch plywood, but it's really more like 3 16 or so. Anyway, one of the reasons I love using Lightburn, another thing I like about Otor is it works with Lightburn, no problem. They even have a configuration file that makes it easy to get set up, is the new version of Lightburn has these tests built into it. So just do a fill or a line, and then that gives me a good reference for what kind of settings I want to use for any project. So depending on how deep I want to go the impressive thing is even all the way up here at 400 millimeters a second you know between the 60 to 90 percent range actually getting a decent burn 60 is kind of light but we can definitely run this thing at 400 millimeters a second which is dang fast and still get you know some fair marks depending on what we're doing now it's not going to be very deep but it is definitely visible and you can see at this 80 to 90 percent as we you know slow down to like 1 150 we actually do get a fair bit a little bit of recess and then as far as cutting goes on this 10 watt laser we can see at 90 percent two passes absolutely solid but it's probably more uh, efficient the the higher you run your laser the more you shorten the life so if you want to get the most life you try not to run it super high so the the 60 percent at three passes took a little bit to push out so i'd probably run it like 65 percent at three passes instead of uh, two at 90 unless i'm doing a ton if you're doing a ton then probably 85 percent would work because this 80 almost popped out but not quite took a little bit of pushing and if you run into some denser bits of your material that's going to be a pain but probably 85 percent two passes would also work if you don't mind running a little hot but yeah, let's, uh, let's make something with this thing. Maybe, as you can see, I did tests, some ornament tests on a different laser. So uh, it's holiday season. Let's do some ornaments with this and uh, slap them together.
there we go. Got a cute little uh, three layer ornament. I like doing these just because I think one of the coolest things you can do with the lasers isn't just engraving, but the cutouts that stack and build depth, that's just so neat to me. So I did one of those. Uh, that was about a 30 minute run time to cut it all three of these. If I had thinner wood, that would be a lot quicker. Really should be using some like eighth inch or thinner stuff for this kind of thing, because that's kind of fat anyways, but don't have any on hand. But yeah, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. Another thing I really like about the Laser Master 3 is there's a port on the back and this little switch. So if you run in a rotary, you don't have to unplug everything. You can just plug in your rotary right there and then toggle over so the machine knows you're working off the rotary instead of the gantry. So that is also a nifty feature. That's a solid machine. I'm really excited to see how far they've come from uh, Gen 1 and the 10 watt laser is pretty dang powerful. There are some more powerful lasers coming out now where instead of stacking two beams, people are stacking four and more diode beams. So look forward to seeing Otor release something like that. But uh, it doesn't take away at all from what you can do. It just takes a little bit longer depending on what your wattage is. This is a 10 watt machine. But yeah, hope this was helpful if you're in the market or checking them out. Um, hope you learned something, were inspired or at least a little entertained. And until next time, make time to make something.